the reason why I'm quite proudly anti-woke is because I feel that woke as a thing, it has an abusive dynamic because it makes you feel bad for yourself. It makes you a bad person for the things you think, the things you do, and who you are. I mean, if it's based on skin color, if, if you've got to feel bad for being white, that is an abusive dynamic. Now, if you're a white person that kills people, then you are bad. But if you're a white person that just sort of has a job, works maybe as a painter and decorator and has two kids and goes to Tenerife once a year, then you're not really, you're not ticking the box of a bad person, are you? So, but this is what woke does, is it demonizes people, makes people feel bad. And that's what an abuser would do in a relationship if someone said, you can't say those things. Your opinions are unacceptable. You're a bad person because of immutable characteristics. Well, that would be, if you went to any counselor, they'd be like, well, you're in a, this is a domestic abuse situation. Uh, but this is what's happening in society and it's it's got to be fought. That's why I fight it. So yeah, sorry, forgive the rant, but um, the, the Last Supper thing, I did do a monologue about it and it was on my GB News show, which is called Mark Dolan Tonight, Saturday and Sunday, 9 to 11 on GB News, the People's Channel, Britain's News Channel. And I, let me tell you and let me surprise you by saying I didn't have a problem with the scene at the Olympics per se. Reason, Are you Christian? I was raised Roman Catholic. Mm -hmm. Are you a believer? I'm. I'm not. I'm not a religious person. Okay. Uh, but I, I. Any more than if I go further than that, I will upset my mother. Oh no! Well, that's not. Let's end the interview <laughs> now. <laughs> uh, but what I will say is that. So therefore, I'm. I'm not a religious person. I suppose okay. you could call me non-religious. Um, but so, with regards to the the Last Supper scene, um, I've got no problem with it at all. I mean, look at the life of Brian. It's Jesus Christ on a cross singing. Okay, which ironically, the Christian right, when it was released, tried to get it banned, sort of did get it banned, didn't yeah. they? In, in doing exactly what the woke left are doing now. So, you know, it's, a, it's a basically a bit of a come full circle situation. Um, so I got, I had no, I had actually zero problems with it. And I don't think most people did. It was the fact that no other religion would be subjected to ridicule like that on a global stage at the biggest sporting event mm -hmm. there is. And if you had such iconography being sort of pastiched and mocked up uh, and mocked, whether it was Judaism, Islam, anything else, Hindu, it wouldn't happen. And that's because for some reason, Christianity is a soft touch. You're allowed to attack it. You're allowed to mock it. And I believe in that. You should mock Christianity. You should mock um, uh, you know, Catholicism, all the rest of it, uh, but only if you can mock the other religions. Yeah. Is, is there also a tiny bit, I, and I, I suspect in you, certainly I have this in me of, and it's an ego thing, but I feel like a contrarian. Mm. I feel like a, a rebel without a call. I know that's pathetic and everyone listening is going to what a pathetic, but I do. And I, I felt like that since I was 15. I can imagine you, you know, the one who stands up and set, you know, takes the risk and gets kicked out of the class at school. Yeah. And now we're seeing people dressing up as though they were rebels, but taking aim at the easiest target that's not going to, there's, no, right. there's no cost. Bingo. Whereas it's like, if Bingo. you were really going to do this, I mean, Salman Rushdie did it 20 years ago with Satanic Verses, you know, that's, yeah. that's, that's really taking the risk. Correct. Exactly. And that man is just a total hero and and so courageous i mean he's really he almost paid with his life he certainly paid with his health following mm. a more recent attack and he's paid with his career the guy had armed security for at least a decade after publishing uh, a book which uh, wasn't even controversial it was just because of things that were referenced in it more than anything else there's a few pages that were a bit a bit bad maybe a bit edgy about muhammad I should, even saying it, even repeating it on the podcast, careful, we're both be careful, big guy. Because they killed like the translators. It was like a Japanese translator who of the book was killed. So, well, you know, you know, it's it's a shocker. So so therefore, that was it. Really, um, I was quite triggered by, but but the great misunderstanding is, is not that Christianity is sacred and that you shouldn't be doing that. I, I do think it's strange to have that kind of satire at an event which is designed to bring the world together. I think yeah. invoking religion at all is shows how the extent to which the people organizing those Olympics have lost the plot, because actually there's no place for any religion there. Unless it was, imagine if you've got sort of a parade and along the parade you have Muslims and, and then you have 
uh, you know, whatever, <laughs> Christians and Jews. But that's not even how the Olympics works, is it? It's the countries that have their little moment, you know, and it's like, here comes the United Kingdom and here comes Spain. And, you know, so why, why there was religion there at all is beyond me. But the fact that it focused exclusively on Christianity tells you everything you need to know. Uh, the West is bad, of course. The West is shameful. Uh, it's post-colonial. And therefore, the legacy religion of the West, which is Christianity, is bad too. So it's all open target. And, uh, you know, the, the West being bad is, is, you know, going some in terms of warping reality, yeah. given the fact that the United Kingdom alone gifted the world representative democracy, free markets, art, culture, and we ended slavery, uh, which took decades and cost millions and a lot of lost blood as well you know so but we're bad apparently we also defeated uh fascism in two separate world wars yeah but we're bad make it make sense spice girls well and the thing is well yeah i mean that's you know jerry was was crossing the line i do think 